We expect more than 350 EU policymakers and stakeholders to join us on June 25th in raising a glass in well-deserved recognition of the hard work of Parliament's deputies. We are delighted that once again Commission Vice President Maros Shevkovic has agreed to host the Parliament magazine's MEP Awards. So the members of the European Parliament are the vital link between the EU institutions and the citizens and therefore I will be very glad that also this year I will be able to uh, honour the work of uh, those MEPs who have been uh, appreciated the most uh, by their uh, fellow colleagues. It's a very good opportunity to profile and to show the, the work of passionate uh, men and women um, that are doing their best to serve the interests of uh, the uh, European um, citizens. Um, and uh, also it's one way for us, um, the uh, trade associations here in Brussels, to show our support to network uh, with uh, the European uh, uh, institutions representatives and uh, um, to uh, engage uh, as well in the work that's been done for the good of uh, the European Union. I've been a farmer all my life and I've spent 20 to 25 years involved in the food processing industry. So I can see and I know that farming and the food industry faces a very challenging period ahead. World population growth, climate change and the demands on the environment and the availability of resources we have will all conspire to make agriculture very difficult but very exciting time in the future. As a member of this parliament therefore I've taken a pride in the fact that I've helped farming. I help farmers to improve production and competitiveness. I hope that through my simplification report it's made life easier for farmers to access the resources of the European Union. What we need to do is help agriculture to meet those challenges of the future, not to hinder them. That's what I'm here for. I'm supporting farmers. Buongiorno, grazie innanzitutto per avermi selezionato per questo importante riconoscimento, l'MP Awards. Eh, io sono Paolo De Castro, Presidente della Commissione Agricoltura e Sviluppo Rurale, una commissione che sta lavorando molto sulla riforma della PAC e io spero che i deputati possano votarmi per questo importante riconoscimento perché stiamo davvero facendo uno sforzo enorme come commissione tenendo insieme quell'importante traguardo ambientale che questa politica agricola deve dare senza a dimenticare l'importanza sociale, l'importanza economica di questo settore. Ecco, credo e spero che il risultato di questa riforma della PAC possa davvero contemperare queste due cose e queste due cose credo che la nostra Commissione con la mia Presidenza la sta mantenendo davvero unite, responsabilità ambientale, responsabilità sociale. Jestem bardzo zadowolony z nominacji, ale przede wszystkim ważne jest to, że magazyn pokazuje działalność posłów. Praca posłów w zależności od obszaru, w którym funkcjonują, jest bardzo zróżnicowana. Myślę, że dobrym, przykład, dobrym przykładem jest właśnie Komisja Rolnictwa i Rozwoju Obszarów Wiejskich. Szczególnie teraz, kiedy prowadzimy pracę nad reformą wspólnej polityki rolnej, ta skala zmian, produkcja żywności to człowiek, to jego zdrowie, ale także rolnictwo ma ogromny wpływ na problemy środowiskowe i coraz więcej właśnie o chcemy o tym mówić, stąd problem zazielenienia, który często staje się bardzo taki niejasny, niezrozumiały i nie tylko dla podatnika, ale także dla samego rolnika. I myślę, że jestem przekonany, że ten wybór to możliwość do dyskusji i zastanowienia się, jak jeszcze lepiej można funkcjonować, pracować w poszczególnych obszarach spraw, aby nasza praca parlamentarna była bardziej skuteczna. We look forward to seeing you all once more for another night to remember on June the 25th.